Hello my friends. In this video, we will be downloading, installing, and testing NVIDIA's free Chat RTX engine. This is a free personal AI engine that runs locally on your Windows workstation. It does require you to have an RTX 30 series or above for it to install. First thing we're going to do is we're going to need to download NVIDIA Chat RTX. Note, this is a pretty big file. It's 32 gigs, so give it some time to download and make sure you have enough disk space so you can install this and run it at the same time. After you've got it downloaded, next thing we're going to do is we're going to extract it. So I'm just going to right click on this, tell it to extract all. This is a big file, so it'll take a while. So I've sped through this just to save time. Okay, so now we want to go to the setup. We're going to double click on setup and tell it to install. It's got its custom install options here. I'm just going to keep all the default here. I'm going to read through this. I'm just going to go ahead and check this box here and click next. All right, selected. Okay, now you can select different. I'm going to keep the default location here, but you can select a different install location if you want to put it on a different hard drive or whatever you want to do. Just hit that browse button. You'll be good to go. All right, I'm going to hit next. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this took about 30 minutes to install. So I'm going to speed through it so we don't have to go through the painstaking process of that. But give it a good 30 minutes to install. And once it's installed, you'll get to this window right here. Once the installer has finished, all we got to do now is hit close and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to come down here and click that button right there. There we go. Now it's going to open up a command prompt and it looks like it's Perl script that they're executing. And it does some pretty cool stuff. So if I hit allow here, now you can watch it. It's just creating all these files. I assume it's looking at the folder that we downloaded everything and pulling it over in this direction. After it finishes doing this, it's going to open up a web browser, which is on the other screen on my monitors here. So I dragged it over and here we go. I'll get this a little bit bigger so we can see it. And this will be the user interface. So here we go. This is your own personal chat, personal bot that you have in your house. That's loaded on one of my machines and there's the folder path that it's going to. So let's go ahead and start with some commands here. First command. Let's see here. I am going to say what is the cutoff date for this engine? Basically, what's the date that they go up to? So it looks like they go all the way up to August 10th of 2023, which is fine. Okay. So next I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this to the AI model right here. And then I'm going to ask it another question and see what it can point out here. So we will say, what is chat with RTX? What is this thing? There you go. It's got a good explanation of what's going on. Now, the cool feature that I really wanted was it to write me a shell script, you know, just a quick little Linux shell script. So I type this in here right here, just write me something for Ubuntu. And there you go. It spits it out just like ChatGPT does, just like all the other chat engines do at the same time. But the feature that I like the best about this one is you can uh, have it search your own personal folders, like a PDF. So for example, I downloaded this Denali owner's manual PDF and I put it in a folder and then you come here and you say, okay, that's where the folder is. Hit select that folder. And what it's doing right there, it's searching every, all the PDFs that are in that folder and gathering all the information. So now what I'm going to do is ask it a question. This is an owner's manual. So when should I change the oil? I didn't spell that correctly, but that's okay. And sure enough, it goes and searches that PDF that's in your personal folder and pulls information from it. So let's ask it another question. Okay, I was playing around with it. So let's ask another one, please. Uh, what am I wanting here? Oh, the maintenance schedule. That's right, sorry, I don't know my own video. So to, to do the whole maintenance schedule. And there you go, it pulls it out. And at the very bottom it says 24.gmc PDF. That means it's pulling from that folder. That's pretty cool, because I'm gonna have a lot of my work PDFs inside that folder, and I'll be able to search for it. And the last thing, you can't ever quit an AI without telling it to write you a song. So I got one right here, write a song about, I don't know, driving to the country to visit a friend. How's that? And there you go. It works just like any AI engine, but it's your own personal AI engine. It's pretty, pretty neat little stuff. The user interface is pretty straightforward. This is where you select your folders. You can come down here and you can clear it, whatever you want to redo it, response. And if you want to close down, just click this button right here. That closes you down, says the video memory has been released. Thank goodness it uses a bunch of it. And then press any key to continue and you are done. And there you go. You got to play with the new Chat RTX personal engine. Have a good one.